It's the best tacos in Birmingham. y'all happy friday we are back with another weekend vlog i am i wouldn't say i'm in a rush but i'm kind of in a rush i just spent quite longer than i anticipated on instagram live but i did this look i'll have it linked for you guys but i am trying to hit the ground running i need to go out and run some errands and i need to get back by like 3 30 3 34 o'clock i need to ask william what time i need to get back because we we're going out for date night tonight but i'm going out the main thing is to go out and pick up my alterations because that has the pants that i'm wearing for book club on sunday and i don't know if she's open on saturday so i definitely need to go today um and then i need to go over to sam's and who were to get the groceries for book club and we'll talk about now that i know this video isn't going to come out before then we'll talk about the concept behind book club in the car or just later but we need to go to the grocery store to get all the things we're doing like a like a fancy salad station and then we're going to do like a candy station but all the candy is white because it it feeds to the theme um they did their own i have on all black i'll show you guys my outfit in a second i'm gonna put on some black opium i have this toxic trait where whenever i dye my hair jet black which i just did should be in a video coming soon i then want to wear all black am i the only one so i have on all black i need to go upstairs and get a black jacket because i don't think i have one down here now William has this jacket. I wonder if he'll notice I have his jacket on. This is nice. And it fits nice and oversized. We're gonna wear his jacket. Let me go show y'all my outfit on the day and hopefully we can tip out. And he doesn't notice I have his jacket on. Alright, so outfit, bodysuit is from Amazon. I saw, you guys saw these in the previous vlog, the Kohl's shopping haul. I have these on. I have these in a large for reference, and then this is William's coat. It says Boohoo, so he got this from Boohoo. And then, I'm going to be doing a lot of walking around. Nike, probably have on too many necklaces. I might take this one off. Yeah, take that one off. But anyway, let's go. Okay, I guess I have a little bit more time than I thought because Faith wants to ride with me. So, book club. We, I came across this place. It's actually beside my place where I like to go get bagels all the time. And I saw it and I was like, I want to have it here. And so we legit, it's a little dark. We legit found a book that's like perfectly tied to it. We are gonna do like a um, very fancy, like I said, very fancy salad bar. We're having it at night so you can get the vibes. I'm so excited for this book club. <laughs> so excited for this book club. Because me and Faith, and now that my younger sister is a part of book club now, we always do the first one. And we always like to set the tone of what the year is gonna look like. So this is the year of elevation for once upon a while okay we're we're elevating over here and i'm i'm so excited so we gotta go with go to, we're gonna go to sam's to get everything we need i ordered like i said the we're gonna have a candy bar but it's gonna be all white i got all that candy coming from amazon as well as the items we're gonna put it in all of that coming from amazon today hopefully because it's supposed to get here yesterday but with the storms and everything it's now saying today 
um and then i've gotten the green light and it'll just be over a couple of vlogs but i've gotten the green light from william to start to put more green elements in the house you guys know our last house is very like bohemian chic i had a lot of green elements and i think what it was with this house if you look at on the outside the outside says black and white and it says modern so i was really leaning into the black trend but i like green i like to wear green hello the inside of my eyes is green um and so i've gotten the okay to put more green elements so the first thing i'm gonna get green that island i've gotten the okay to paint it green. I already know this is the paint color that I want, so I want to go to Aunt, I want to go to Home Depot today. If not today, then maybe tomorrow, um, to get some of that. There's a gold, that gold shelf right there. I don't think I'm going to get rid of it. I just think I'm going to put it in the garage for right now, and I'm probably going to get like a really, really tall. I want a real tree, but I have to be realistic with myself. And the fact that my son is very adventurous it's a good word for it um so i'm going to try to find a really really tall faux tree and yeah i love that shelf we've had that shelf since we were in the apartment but i can only style the top two because your very adventurous nephew plays with the other two shelves and i feel like the taller he gets is just going to be then three shelves and then i'm not gonna be able to style a single thing so i feel like a faux tree over there adds to the green elements i've got a rug picked out i want to go to home goods and look at some decor i saw a couple of pillows a pillow i saw on crate and barrel i'm obsessed with i'm not paying 55 us dollars for one not a pillow a pillow cover which was I gotta get my own insert, $55. I can't do it. So the goal today is to go to Home Goods, at home, Home Depot, Sam's. And I gotta be back here by four o'clock. It is so many hours later, but do you see that? Full. Um, so the place we didn't go to where we needed to was Sam's. Why you say I left William's card at home? I don't know what this lighting is doing. It's doing something weird and I don't like it. That's better. So we're gonna have to go to Sam's in the morning. We are at Home Depot getting tacos because we're hungry. Your friend has me in a food truck. I don't think it's so good. Look, I it's in the Home Depot parking lot, so I get that it looks sketchy. Off 280 for those that are curious. Okay. And yeah. Anyway, I tried it one day. It was amazing. I come here every time. It's the best tacos in Birmingham. She also said and I quote as we're leaving Hobby Lobby, "Yes, we're going to my favorite place. Home Depot." Yes. I love this Home Depot because sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. They all know me here. Surprisingly, they do. <laughs> but we're here to pick out um, my paint and then I'm going to see if they have a vase because y'all see that tree back there. The vase is not cute, but I saw on TikTok where you get this really tall vase and then you fill it up and then you put the tree on top of that. That way it gives the illusion that it's taller. So that's the... That's the plan. And we're doing really good with time. And you know, I said besides not going to Sam's, so we're gonna be at Sam's at 9 a.m. tomorrow. At 9 a.m. Uh, okay. At 10 o'clock. Nine. Lisa, get... it's Saturday. I like to be able to wake up, shower. I gotta spend the time with the Lord first, eat a little breakfast, have my You morning. don't eat breakfast, friend! I've been having my morning tea. It's got <laughs> caffeine in it. Okay, get it to go. Cut. It promotes positive energy. And then I sit down, have my one little oatmeal raisin bagel with my honey nut spread. You can put that, all that can be to go. I'm trying to meet them. When they do this to the gate, I'm trying to meet them at Sam's when they open up. Because if you do that, then we're Then the sample it. people aren't even out yet. We're not going for samples. Then we're in Then and what's out. the point? Who goes to Sam's and doesn't eat samples? Okay, we're in and out. Is she going to call or? No, you just have to kind of keep checking. <laughs> okay. 
put a little Valentino sauce on there as well. And then napkin. Okay. And then I meant to tell you flour instead of corn tortillas. It's gonna be so good. You won't even know. They're so good. I don't want none of these sauces. Yeah, you, yes you do. You want a little bit of both, I promise. Did you get the same thing I did? I did, so you gotta make sure you take your lemon off, I mean your lime off and squeeze it on. You see how much cilantro you get? Jesus. So you gotta take your sauces, you gotta put a little bit on each one. Are they spicy? This red one is. And you gotta put a little bit of that green one on there, so give it a little bit of that, a little bit of that flavor. Just a little bit, a little bit, yeah, a little bit, yeah. You gotta take your lime. I don't like lime on my Oh, own. baby. It, it ain't even about the taste of the lime, it's what it does to the meat when it hits the meat. So squeeze on the lime. And you think you don't like lime, but you eat a lot of lime in ceviche and even guacamole, so just go with it. Yeah. Okay. This is a lot of cilantro. I don't even like cilantro. Let me like tell that. you, Lo, just bite it. It's so good. It's I don't even see where my tacos separate from the other on there. Here we go. Which one are you biting into first? Okay, that's the pastor. You're not even in the video. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell me that I'm On the corn tortilla. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot of flavor. I told you. Mm-hmm. You need one more line. I don't need one more line, mm -hmm. friend. If that hit. Yeah, that's flavorful. That's yeah. that's like a that's an authentic See, taco. See, and in me, in my head, I was like, man, they got way too much cilantro on this taco. Mm -mm. But then when you bite into it, and then it marries up with everything else, yeah, I, I think it hit. That should be good. I think it's hit. They need to open a restaurant. They mm -hmm. look busy right here. Oh, that's their busy. That's what made me come the first time. There's no overhead. It's so good. It's so good. Okay, I'll try the test steak one. The pastor is my favorite. Oh, is it? Yes. Occasionally, I will get a steak one as well. These are fresh out of the oven. Mm. Mm. It's good. Mmm. It's so good. It just hit, it just, some sauce hit me and I like it. I don't know which one it Listen, is. Listen, I said you have to do all the sauces. Mm. <clears throat> I need to put a little more of this red one on here. I don't even care for the green sauce most of the time when they bring it at a restaurant. To me, it doesn't really have any taste, but this one, I don't know what they mix with it, but it is good. I'm so used to having lettuce, cheese, tomato, all You don't that. even need it. Cilantro and onion. That's it. I didn't even show y'all. This is how you know. You should have showed them before they bit into I it. I should have. It's literally so just the meat, cilantro, onions, and then your sauces. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's all. And, and with the lime on top. That's all you need. They give you the same sauces for every taco? Mm-hmm. And I told you, I don't like corn tortillas, but I, I got it by accident the first time. And I was like, well, I guess I'll just chop it up. So the quest of corn tortillas, when we go to, what's that other taco place? Little Donkey? Mm -hmm. Disgusting. I don't like them. Their flour ones were good, but not their corn ones. <clears throat> yeah, it's a kick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get into that red sauce. She got water.
All right, y'all, sorry. I have not came back to you guys at all today. It's Saturday, as you guys will know. It is 1241, and we did pretty good. So update, I could not go to Sam's because William can't find his Sam's card. So I just went to the neighborhood Walmart and got 99% of everything that we needed. And now your friend is attempting to do the setup at the table, even though this table is not as long. So let me, yeah, I'm talking to you for, Friend, me. I'm just saying. It's important that we know what. See, this this is supposed to be for the cheeses, but I think they need to be smaller. No, I think those are okay. Okay, all right. Well, I know these are the ones that I wanted to be sitting up on something. I, need I know that those are the cheese. shaved. I know the shaved and so the this is going to be cheddar. Yes. This is going to be parmesan, and then this is going to be feta. We didn't. The feta is not going to be that big because it's just one. Okay, so I'm going to go get a thing to sit these two up on. I don't think you need a thing. It just, it needs something. Like, I don't want them to have to keep reaching over. Like, I want it to be sitting up higher. It needed to be tiered. It needs to be sitting up on something. You have nothing? I'm about to have to walk around the house and find something. Because that's not going to work. With my coffee no. serves you're sitting on. So, I don't need these three because it's... Banana peppers, black olives, sunflowers, dry cranberries. That's it that we need for that, right? Yeah, so why can't the cheeses sit on the white thing you have on? Okay, so they're, the thing is wide enough to fit this. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, it okay. won't fit and this see, bowl. That can't fit. That bowl's not going to fit. You have any white bowls? No. You're no good. All I have are these. Now the feta can definitely go in here. Feta can definitely go in here. I do. And we could, I mean, we could put the rest of the cheeses in here. And like I said, if there's, if there's more, it's not like we have to put it in the refrigerator because it'll already be cold. So we could just yeah. refill. And I think that'll fit on here. Now all three of them ain't gonna fit on here. <laughs> Two will fit. Can you give it to me, please? I'd like to see the full set of this. So let's ex these And what we can do. I have to unplug my father. Oh. So set that there. That's not the same bowl, friend. I know what I'm doing. That's not the same bowl. I'm aware. I'm going to do these two on each cheddar at the top and then we'll do two at the bottom for I kinda like it the other way around. The two the cheddar at the bottom and then the two different ones at the top. Oh, uh, I was actually gonna make this a feta bowl, but you're right. We can do Parmesan shaped in one, feta in one, because cheddar will be the most popular. Yes. And we can always refill really these. Just yeah. keep an eye on. Mm -hmm. All right, that that works.
that was weird. All right, y'all, happy Sunday. I It's book club Sunday. Um, I have just been doing not much of anything. I just finished my face. Um, yeah, so it's 1.47. I text the uh, attendant who's going to be there asking her if we can come at 3.30 to set up because we have quite a bit to set up. And she said that 3.45 might be more the spill because they're just trying to like clean the stuff. So I'm about to um, try on my outfit. I'm definitely not going to wear it while we're like um, putting stuff together. But... I realized that I haven't tried on these white trousers. It's a pop up a picture here. It's the ones I got from Vegas. I haven't tried them on since I dropped them off at the alterations place to get the waist taken in. So I just want to try on the outfit to make sure. And then I haven't stretched my hair. So I'm just going to take the things that I need to stretch my hair. I'm gonna pack my little bag. I'll probably will also wait and put on perfume. Oh, I didn't show you guys. Yesterday in the mail I got this Yara perfume. I got it from a recommendation from, if you don't follow Fumi Monet, you can follow her on Instagram, uh, uh, TikTok. She's one of my go-to sources for perfume. Anyway, she showed this. I can't remember what she had paired with it. Whatever it was, I already have it. And so she showed this Yara, and it was like less than $30. It's definitely, I want to say, an Arabian, uh, like an Arabic type. It looks like it came from Dubai. Anyway, it smells so good. It smells like something that I can pair with vanilla, so... I wish I still had some of my Vanilla 26 from KLE, but I don't think I have that anymore. Um, it had a travel size. Let's see, I don't think I have it. Oh, wow. Oh, that's why I didn't want to, because it's like dark. And someone says that it sprays on your clothes. And I, I it's never happened to me before, but I also have never sprayed it on an all white outfit. So I'm just going to grab this cream vanilla that I also got from her recommendation. So we're going to wait and apply that. And then I'm going to bring my cap. You guys have seen this before. I'm so glad this is a lighter book club. Tripod for you guys. Uh, my shoes. Other tripod to actually take the photos battery i just finished the book for book club i know i just finished it today but what i will say is i you know there are some books where i, I just can't audible like it just i like to be able to read and then what i have noticed lately is that there are a lot of books that the audible is just so much better than me reading this was one of those like i've had this book since in december and it's just been really hard for me to get into and faith told me because she's the one that actually listened to it she's like yeah we're gonna go with this one it's great i i finished the audible in like a day and so i was like all right let me get the book because i'm all i'm a pen I'm, you know i'm a paper kind of girl and so i've just been struggling and so when she came over friday she was like alicia you just need to audible i'm telling you the audible you'll get it done in less than a day so i started i think i made it to chapter seven on my own <laughs> and there's like 30 something chapters so I started listening to the audible yesterday and just was just like randomly doing stuff around the day and I finished it this morning. It's definitely one of those books that you have to audible. I actually really love it. So I'm curious what the girls will think about it. I just saw Kiosha. She posted a weekend vlog and she has already read it and she was like, I give it a three and I'm like, damn girl, what is your, what, what what's a four and a five? But she's also read a thousand and one books, so I guess she has her own system. Okay. All right. I think we are all packed and ready. Let me throw on the outfit so you guys can see it. And then we're just going to chill out and hang out there. My sisters are coming over here, and then we're going to, because uh, it's on the way, the space that we're going to. So let me... Um, Let's try on this outfit. Oh, I need to get a strapless bra because that's a one shoulder. Let's try this outfit on. Y'all, when I tell you, she legit tailored the hip. Like, these pants fit 
absolutely perfectly i'm so glad because she's a lot closer <laughs> than having to go all the way to pelham i will um put the details below if you're in the birmingham altar birmingham area but it's um i didn't mean to leave that cross i meant that hems on there I normally don't take my hems off, but in situations like this. I also don't know if I'm going to go. So this is what it looks like. I don't know if I want to go with all these chains. I also am going to add some bracelets. I have some nice bangles that came into the shop that I'm going to put on. But I don't know if I need to, like I need a choker, right? Because, so I have, this is the only choker that I have. I think I'm just going to wear this and just take all these other necklaces off. And then I can make it as tight as I want. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go this route. Or, yeah, I do think I like that. So I'm going to take this. And I'm going to just take a pair of oversized earrings. There's a pair that I'm thinking about upstairs. And I'm either going to go minimal on the earring, heavy on the necklace. Or no necklace and then heavy on the earring. But I'll show you guys a better view when we actually get there. I just wanted to try it on. Let me try it on with the shoes. <clears throat> yeah, it looks good. Looks really good. And she didn't she didn't do the hem because I wanted these pants to still fit long. These are definitely a pant that I'm gonna be wearing heels with, so I didn't want that. And this heel it just hits it. Mm -mm, I like it. I like. I might leave my hair up if I'm being honest with you guys. I just have a really nice, I need to bring some backups. So like I said, I'm going to do an oversized earring, simple necklace, or simple necklace, no, oversized earring, simple necklace, or oversized necklace, simple earring. But that's where we are. I'm going to take this off before your nephew comes running around the hallway with his Cheetos hand. And I'm going to see you guys at the event space.
me. Yes, yes, <laughs> like, if somebody was to say, that's too scary for me, I don't want to do this. I feel like they have the right to make sure. it. Having a child and knowing how much my husband loves his child, and it seems like he loved his children. Yeah. Even yeah. if he had a mental, if he had a mental disability like that, he would have probably had a conversation with his wife and said, hey, if it ever gets bad to where I can hurt the kids, take it. That made me want to take it. Even, even, even after she called him, he didn't see what he said. He was yeah. mad. Yeah. Yeah. He yeah. never, oh, yeah. why didn't you, t you know, yeah. call her or something oh, Even though he was over there with a fan. He, he was with the only person that, that would take it. Yeah. yeah. He was um, obviously charismatic, but like, and she was like, oh, I feel like he's a good dad, but the kids have dreadlocks and cobwebs. How? <laughs> I got something oh, in my <laughs> he, he had to be one of those guys that was trustworthy because Clara, when she first met him and then they were in the grocery store and then he invited her to go next door to do coffee, she felt like she just told him all her secrets. I guess in my head, I'm just, I'm confused because Clara ain't got no job. Mm. She ain't homeschooling these kids. She ain't got no prospects. What are you doing? I think she was a prince. I, I got you. So you were a little depressed. You were not in the press. Well, I just had that to do with you not recognizing She was using the insurance money from right. the house. What?